Hi everyone, it's Alyssa, and today I have a two-part Etsy shop update video because I have way too many items to fit into one video. So the first video here is all my Halloween stuff. To start off with, I have this adorable candy corn angel wing necklace. The candy corn and the angel wings, well actually they're fairy wings, I always want to call them angel wings. They're both glow in the dark and they're super cute. They'll be going on a necklace. It'll be made to be a choker so at checkout on Etsy you'll have to tell me your measurement of your neck. That way that I can customize it to you. And that actually goes for all of these. Then I have this adorable pumpkin. It's one of those white pumpkins. I don't know why but I've always loved them. They're just so cute for decorative. Like any decorative thing you want to do around your house the white pumpkins are always so cute and elegant and as with the other one that in the fairy wings and the pumpkin are glow in the dark then I have this adorable little ghost it doesn't have a face because I thought it's cuter without a face I didn't want to ruin it by putting on a face the wings and the ghost are both glow in the dark then I have this adorable green ghost. I actually love how it like twisted his tail a little bit. Well, like the wisp. The wings in the ghost are also glow in the dark. And I also didn't feel like putting a face on this one either. I feel they're just cuter being faceless. And I have this lollipop. It's also glow in the dark. The wings are actually pure glow in the dark, so they stand out extremely well. It's super cute. Then I have this Franken candy corn with green wings and they also glow in the dark. In fact, all of these pieces glowing in the dark look so amazing. Like last night I had them all sitting on my desk waiting to be videoed today and my entire desk was glowing in the dark. It was really cool. Then this angel wing and candy frank and candy corn is actually technically limited edition because I did pearlex pigments on the fairy wing tips if you can kind of see that it's so much cooler up close in person in fact all of these the video and pictures just don't do justice then I have these fairy wings and pumpkin also glow in the dark also super cute and this witch hat. Basically what I was trying to do with all these necklaces is just get the cute cartoony kawaii side of Halloween on necklaces. So I took little pieces of Halloween that I used to enjoy as a kid and put them together. And I absolutely love how they're all glow in the dark. Then I have these cute green ghost earrings. They're super cute. They also glow in the dark. In fact, they'd look really awesome. I'm thinking about making a pair of these myself because I love glow in the dark earrings. They always make a really cool statement when you wear them. Like my glow in the jack my glow in the dark Jack Skellington earrings, I always get so many compliments on. Those can be seen in one of the other videos. Then I have here this sitting little witch girl. She actually sits and stands on her own, but you can wear her as a pendant. And she's holding an adorable bubbling cauldron. And the bubbles also glow. Everything about her except for her the black in her hair glows. And the black of the cauldron, of course. Because black is an absent of light, so it won't glow. I absolutely love her. And her hat, actually, the colors inspired me to make candy corn with those colors. I know, not traditional or anything. But I just thought the color combo would make really cute candy corn. So you'll see them here in a minute. Then I have this adorable Bride of Frankenstein girl. Everything on her glows in the dark as well, especially her skin and the white in her hair. I absolutely love how she looks. Bride of Frankenstein is one of my favorite characters. Then here I have the little girl that I put those cute little candy corns that I made based off of the witch's hat. I really like how the candy corn here look. They're super cute and adorable. I kind of gave her like a Harley Quinn hair with the two-tone colors. But it's like green and red and they also glow in the dark. Her dress is pink, which also glows in the dark. 
I absolutely love how she turned out. Then I have this cute little bottle with a bunch of the other little candy corns in it that I made and put on that girl's hair. I actually went overboard and made a ton of little candy corn. So I absolutely love this. I almost put beads in it, but like there wasn't enough room. There was too much candy corn. Then I have this adorable pumpkin girl. I actually absolutely love how her hair turned out. Like, she just looks super adorable. She's wearing a pumpkin on her head, but she basically embodies a pumpkin. So it's like a pumpkin sitting on a pumpkin. I absolutely love her. She also glows in the dark. In fact, everything glows in the dark. I think I've said that a few different times. Then I have this white pumpkin girl because white pumpkins are super adorable. So once again, it's like a pumpkin on a pumpkin. Her skin doesn't glow because I used the white that she's wearing for the skin on the other pumpkin girl. And she would just like, it would just match and it wouldn't look as cool. So she's wearing the normal skin tone, so, but everything else except for the brown in her hair also glows. Then I have this adorable witch. She kind of matches the purple stripe witch. And she's got an adorable little pumpkin. Everything about her glows as well, except for the black. And I think the green on the pumpkin as well. Her skin is made out of pure glow in the dark. I absolutely love her. And I love the little stockings that I made. The little striped stockings. Then I have this witch as well. She also kind of goes with the orange and the, I think, it, yeah, purple witch girls. Everything about her is glow in the dark. She's actually a remake of a charm I made a few years ago, but I liked it so much I kept it for myself, except she doesn't have the green stockings like the original did. I gave her regular legs, but I absolutely love her. I love her little hat. And then I have this candy corn girl. She's a Franken candy corn girl, but like her hair and her dress are supposed to symbolize the traditional candy corn with the white, yellow, and orange. She's pure glow in the dark except for her skin. Even the little candy corns glow. I absolutely love her. And I actually made two of her because I loved her so much. So here's the other one. They're like twins. And then I made this Bride of Frankenstein girl wearing the traditional candy corn. It's kind of the same idea of the last candy corn girl that I just showed. Where she's got the Frankenstein candy corn in her hair and she's regular candy corn. So I made this one like the basically the flip side. I kind of just made her Bride of Frankenstein because Frankenstein candy corn. And she's also got a twin. Because they're handmade, they don't look exactly the same. But I love them both. They're both super cute. And then I made this Bride of Frankenstein and Frankenstein pendant. They're in love, obviously. And they've got both the candy corns framing them. I absolutely love how this turned out. I actually made one similar to this a few years ago so you could kind of say this is a remake but added with the candy corn the other one just had a twirly frame of glow in the dark colors mixing together but i actually love the candy corn idea so i'll totally have to make more of these everything's glow in the dark as well and this is actually the last creation for this video she's a regular candy corn girl and she's got purple pearly hair. Everything on her, about her, glows in the dark except for her skin and the hair. But I absolutely love her. So make sure you grab one of these that you really love in my Etsy shop tomorrow for my huge update. So I'll see you guys soon.